update on the 30. Making pretty decent headway, even though it's going super slow. I'm chipping away at it, chipping away at it here. Sorry about my voice, the tracks are making me talk. Like and here is, I finished this trail the other day. Here's the main trail that goes down to the hardwoods in the back and the new bigger food plot which I've got finished and the other day I started on this other access trail that's going to lead to a mi uh, micro plot just a little plot we're going to put up here it's going to need to be cleaned out all the way but got it cleared anyway that's what we're working on today, continuing this trail to the microplot and get some of it done today. We'll continue this uh, trail, kind of got out of the way the other day. I cleared another trail that was going to this new microplot. I got off course just a little bit, but I'm going to extend it off this other main access trail I cut the other day and join it there it's going to be a little bit shorter than what I did the other day I kind of got turned around didn't look at my map like I should have but it's easy to get turned around back here in the middle of this jungle the other day actually could turn into just a little mini micro plot or uh, another place to hunt so it's it's going to benefit it a little muddy today rained a couple inches yesterday but we're in hill country it's a little soft it shouldn't be too awfully bad problem is getting all this when you're clearing a new trail or even a plot that you get started not much place to put the stuff you pull without making it wider than you intend to and tearing down extra trees
I'm back with you. Got the trail, and if you can see in the camera here, I put out some markers. This is where the micro plot is going to go. I'll show you that's the trail I started today when I started the video. Goes up there. Now I reached the point here. I'm getting ready to start on this micro plot. You can see I'm in a little low place and going back up somewhat flat area up there be a good place for a little food plot on the other side of that uh, roughly about 40 yards from here is another draw it's all hardwoods uh, oaks good travel corridor for the deer so I want to make a little micro plot where you can come up to there that draw from this campsite Depends on what wind direction. And there's already uh, several good established trails and some old roads down in there. You can tell they use that. I think it's a perfect location to put one, but we'll see. And this probably is going to be nice once we're done. It's gonna turn, I think it's going to turn out really well. All right, I want to give you a little update. That is the access trail to this micro plot I started today. Got it nice and cleared. And this is the beginnings of the micro plot where I've got done so far. It's a little section. So up in there on the other side of the excavator, I'm gonna come. So here is the micro, there's the trail. Here's the micro plot I've got done. All right, having troubles with this GoPro. It's about the fifth time I've took this, but I think it's going now. Anyway, there's the access trail I started on this morning. And here's uh, part of the micro plot that is finished. Here's the hardwood draw I was mentioning earlier. Runs up to the north. A lot of deer sign down there. They travel uh, down through there across the road, come up through here into this thicket. But I've got... The brush piled up here, got them pinched down to coming in right here, and also up there. Uh, there there's a little leg that comes out of hardwoods. There's some good uh, tree stand trees over there. Uh, I'm going to go just to left the excavator, that bigger tree. I'm going to work around it and extend this food plot back up that way, hugging the edge of the hardwood timber. So it's going to create a couple little funnel pinch point areas, and I think it's going to turn out really nice. Just want to give you an idea of what it looks like at ground level. Here, here's there's a little bit of hardwoods. You can see the kind of change. And here's this thick cedar thicket that I'm getting ready to rip out. Open this up for a food plot. Looking forward to this. A lot of a lot of trees should be real easy to to pull out. As you can see how thick it is, even though things are just starting to green up, but you can tell there's not a lot of undergrowth on the forest floor here because it's shaded out by all these uh, pine trees or uh, cedar trees. But it does provide some good cover for the wildlife to get in there kind of out of the weather conditions. But we're going to open part of it up here and get some stuff planted. An old nasty autumn olive bushes. Easy to rip out, but they're a pain. They're a pain to deal with. All the branches going everywhere. You can see that one's about to hit. Push it back. Out of the way. <laughs> 